What are you expecting to get out of the stability plan? Well, I am expecting a, a credible plan to decrease the deficit to 3% of GDP in 2013. And I'm also expecting that the government decreases the expected deficit this year. Do you think it's going to be credible, this plan? Well, it must be. It must be very credible. Uh, what we have so far, uh, the news that have been leaked, um, are not very reassuring, but I hope the government will do what it has to. OK, so you're hopeful the government will do what it has to, but you're not entirely sure. But tell me, what can the government actually do in terms of expenditure? Is there fat to cut? Yes, there's a lot of fat to cut. Uh, if we compare ourselves to Spain, I mean, if we have the expenditures that Spain has, we wouldn't have any deficit right now. So there's a lot of fat we need to cut. And I suggest that we benchmark each sector with Spain. For instance, in uh, defense and security, we spend more than Spain. And we have nothing of the problems that Spain has. So we, there's a lot of room to cut there. And then in education, we spend almost the double that Spain spends in terms of GDP. And so there's a lot of room to cut there. So what you're saying that here in Portugal, the, the, the spending is actually inefficient compared with Spain. Yes. But, but now Spain is also considered by some people in the international markets as another potential problem in terms of paying back, back the money. So, I mean, is Spain really the sort of country that Portugal should be modelling itself on? Well, uh, we should at least be, uh, be able to do what Spain uh, currently does. If we can't do what Spain does, then we'd be much, uh, in a much dire situation. Let me ask you, how credible or how uh, much support or what difficulty do you think that the government of Socrates might actually have in getting these budget measures through? Well, first of all, I think the government has changed completely its uh, speech. The government has been very optimistic, and this has not prepared the people for the sacrifices that must be made. So this is one of the things that uh, the government must do. And then, when people start getting prepared for the sacrifices, then uh, I believe the opposition parties also should help uh, the government to do what's needed. So what you're saying is that the government really hasn't, uh, isn't, isn't yet aware of, in fact, how serious this crisis is at the moment? Apparently, yes. Well, we can see this from the, the budget deficit that they presented just after the Greek crisis exploded. And uh, it was just a meager decrease in the deficit uh, to, by 1% when uh, the deficit for 2009 was already too much more than we expected. Let's bring it right back down to brass text. Do you think that Portugal could possibly face a budget deficit crisis like Greece does at the moment? And is there a risk of a default? Well, I don't think uh, we are having the risk of default. What we are having is the probability of default increasing from, let's say, a 5% uh, probability of default increasing to 20% of uh, uh, probability. This represents a big increase in the interest we are paying, but it doesn't mean we are actually, it's very probable that we will default.